Hi, um, I came up with this I idea. Um, it might be crazy, I'm not quite sure, but I wanted to make something in the shape of a dog bone a long time ago and I was going to try it with shrink plastic, but I never got round to it. And then a video popped up in my newsfeed the other day of somebody had made a Christmas stocking for the dog, but it was in the traditional stocking shape, but just for a dog. And then I thought, well, why don't I have a go at making it in the bone shape that's been going around in my head for months? So I've decided that I'm going to try this out. Don't know whether it'll work or not, but basically I've made the shape in canvas. And if this all works, I'll make the cutting file available for free on the free cutting file page on my blog. And I started to cut it out and I thought I was recording, but it wasn't. So basically I'm just going to explain what I've done and then insert a bit of a clip that I managed to be able to refilm again for you and then I'll carry on with the project. So I've cut this all in felt. The first thing I did was took a piece of felt and I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to see this or not, but basically I did three test cuts so I started off with my blade on a certain depth and certain cut pressure and it did want to cut through but not all the way. So then I upped the blade a little bit and again it cut through and it probably would have been okay because felt's just fibres isn't it and your blade's got to get through it cleanly for it to cut it all. So really it's just the fibres that are hanging on but then I took the blade up again and I managed to get a clean cut as you can see here. Now on my machine this was with a blade depth of nine and a cut pressure of nine and a speed of five and I've not cut through the mat or anything and the mat that you'll see in the clip that I'm going to put in in a minute is my very first scan and cut mat I ever got with my old 600 machine so probably nearly four years old and it's all taped up on the back. You've, I've shown it in other videos before um, from where I'd cut through, through it previously. But what I've done, I've applied the extra high tack sticky sheet onto that mat. And I've just been using it recently for fabric. I used it in the little table mat that I made to go under my scan and cut machine. Um, the video for that will go up in a few more weeks but I've shown pictures of it and I've used it for this felt project and you'll see it in as I say this clip I'm going to insert in a few minutes and it's all beaten up and grubby and everything but it's cut so and these are all the bits of fabric uh, felt that I've cut here on the side so you can see that I've cut it out there's nothing ironed on the back of it at all so basically what I'm going to try and do and I'm going to sew it all together on camera so my idea is that I'm going to make this dog bone shape Christmas stocking. Basically, I'm going to sew this together and I'm thinking that I'm going to sew it together with a zigzag stitch rather than try and sew it and turn it. So I'm literally going to sew it together flat like that. So that's going to be the front. And then I've got two pieces that are going to go on the back that are going to overlap. So it becomes like a kind of envelope cushion, if that makes sense. And that's where you're going to be able to slide your treats in. So that's going to be the back. And then this will be the front when it's all sewn together. And I might put a little hanging loop on it. And then obviously, you know, you could cut some heat transfer vinyl and put a dog's name on it, or you could embroider on it. You could do whatever you want. But this was just, as I say, it was an idea that, started off going round in my head for shrink plastic and I've never got round to doing anything with it. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here, I've brought the shapes on that I'm going to cut out in the green felt and I've done a background scan and I'm just positioning the two green shapes on this piece of felt. And as I said before, I've got my blade on nine my cut pressure on nine, and I've got my old original standard mat that's got the high tack adhesive sheet stuck to it. And I'm just making sure there with the spatula that the 
felt is fully stuck to the mat. So that's all finished and I'm now just peeling the felt away just to make sure that it has all cut through and it has and there are just a couple of places where it's actually cut but the fibres of the felt are still hanging on to the waist of the felt so I just need to snip those away with a pair of scissors. So I'm just going to remove these two pieces of felt from this mat. As you can see, it's all beaten up and grubby and I'm just going to carry on with the red sections. So you can probably see on the mat here the, the, where I've already cut the back sections in the red. And now I'm just putting another piece of red felt on to cut the middle front section. So I'm just going to do a background scan and cut this out. Okay, so that's all done now. I'm just going to peel away the waste and now I've got all the parts that are going to make this stocking. Okay, so here goes. I've got a piece of the green and a piece of the red and I've lined them up. I'm gonna try and sew them together with a zigzag stitch. Okay, so that's how that's looking. Now I'll put the other side on. So that's all sewn together, but I'm looking at it here thinking that I might need to do a slightly wider zigzag. I've never even practiced this, I don't even have a dog. So basically what I'm doing here now is just choosing a wider zigzag stitch on my machine and I'm just gonna go over both seams again. So now I'm going to put these on and sew all around the edge but I'm just going to insert a little hanging loop as well inside. So I've got a bit of ribbon, doesn't need to be too long I don't think. going to tuck this inside, put it on one corner, leave it hanging out so I know where it is. I can always trim it off. Just put some clips on it. Overlap the layers so they line up. So I chose a quarter inch stitch on my machine for this and just sewed all around the outside of the 
bone and went backwards and forwards over where the joins are on the back just to give it a little bit more stability. Okay, so I'm just getting back to the end now. I'm just going to go backwards and forwards over this join and then that's it complete. I'm going to turn it inside out and let's have a look at it. Okay, so I'm just starting to turn it inside out now and making sure that I keep all the nice rounded corners on either end. I could have left it the wrong way out, but I would have just had to have um, not placed the ribbon inside it as I showed in the video. But as I say, you can see me here just fiddling around with the seams, just trying to get the shape of it. And then I'll show you how it all looks. So here it is all finished. You can see on the back the envelope style opening so you can pop your treats inside. I don't think it turned out that bad considering it was just a bit of a crazy idea. Anyway, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.